Good morning and welcome to Georgia at Cold War. And today I feel that we should be flying a real Cold War bird in the form of the F. Check. Confirmed. In the form of the F 86F Sabre. Now, the Sabre is a little bit outdated for this server. I mean, it's, it says Cold War on the tin, but in reality, we are talking about the Strike Fighters era, like the F5 we see over there. Uh, however, that doesn't make this plane at all useless in, on this server, so if all you have is the Sabre, you are going to have a good time. Uh, I prefer to load out my Sabre with uh, missiles and rockets, since the HVAS can be decently used as an air-to-air -air weapon, especially on close range against bigger targets. Shooter, taxi to active runway. And uh, it is also a very capable dogfighter, but uh, it is somewhat hampered by lack of speed. Because if there's something you might actually need on this server, it is the speed to just out, outrun uh, threats when you have too many of them. Now, the Sabre, I'm sure, needs no introduction. It is a very capable bird, and this is the F version. So this is the version that was updated in order to completely dominate the MiG-15. This means that it is still inferior towards the MiG-17 and, of course, the MiG-19 and 21. Now, there are MiG-15s on the server, but I've so far not encountered them. In fact, the bird I seem to encounter most is the MiG-19. And uh, while the Saber can handle the MiG-19, it, uh, it is not usually not a fair match. The Saber can, in most cases, outturn the MiG-19, but it will have issues with speed, and especially weapons, since uh, most birds from the 70s will at least have countermeasures, and the Saber doesn't have any. There's no way to get countermeasures on a Saber, which is... Well, it's logical, because... Nobody ever hung missiles on the MiG-15, as far as I know, and the MiG-17 only got them as a part of a night fighter package. The MiG-19 can carry missiles, and that's where the problem comes in, because the fighters that were going to fight the MiG-19, the F-100 and Super Saber and stuff like that... Uh, oh, I might want to get the flaps down. Uh, those planes had a... they had countermeasures. Or at least got updates with the countermeasures. And as far as I know, the Sabre never did. So, we are going to rotate and get us up in the air. Now, it should be... Shooter have cleared active runway. Now, it should be mentioned that the Sabre doesn't really have the best missiles around. The GUA-8 uh, missiles are built the, the old-fashioned uh, nine Bravo Sidewinders that the Navy used, as far as I know. And uh, they have a severely limited tracking rate in regards to other Fox 2 of the era and on the server. Uh, we got something launching over there at the... Uh, some Hawks launching. But uh, I think the Hawks are gonna steal that kill, so I don't think we need to worry too much about it. I'm going to... Res yeah, whatever it is, it just got shot into a million pieces over the mountains. Okay, so the F5 is uh, currently taxing now. Either way, in regards to the Sidewinder, it should be noted that the uh, the uh, Russian AA-1 Atoll is actually a complete copy of the Sidewinder. And 
when I say copy, I really mean clone. They basically took... They basically took the Sidewinder and just... Oh, we got a couple of Skyhawks moving in as well. This is Shooter, I will be patrolling around the field, keeping you safe during takeoff. Uh, basically, there are two stories. The first story is that a Swedish spy, Stig Vennerström, uh, gave the uh, schematics of the uh, Sidewinder to the Soviets, but I don't really believe this story. Uh, and not because I'm Swedish, mind you. Uh, Stig Vennerström is a great shame upon our national memory, but I don't believe it, because schematics doesn't give you the necessary know-how to reverse engineer something. Not to that degree. Take six, two, five, one. Five, five, five. Let me uh, it does give you the know-how. And uh, there's another story, a more fanciful story, and for that reason it might not be as be true. But I like to tell it anyway. And that is uh, during 1957. Two scooters taking the action. During 1957, I think, or 1959, uh, there was a couple of clashes between uh, Republic of China, also known as Taiwan, and that is the name I'm going to use, simply because it's convenient. I do, however, believe in Taiwan's right to be called Republic of China. Do you hear that, PRC? And uh, at any rate, uh, their sabers was clashing with Russian-built MiG-17s. MiG and the MiG-17s outperformed the Saber. So the US secretly delivered, saw, saw this as a good chance to test their new weapon. So they supplied the Sabers with missiles. And uh, what happened was that a missile didn't explode and got stuck in a MiG-17's tailpipe. And uh, the interesting part is that the pilot then landed and the missile was handed over to the Soviets. Now, the reason I actually trust this side of the story more, which is uh, kind of interesting, is uh, for the simple reason that the... Wait a minute. There we go. Uh, it's because the um, Soviet Union have a... have a... have a lot of experience cloning hardware in this regard. They cloned the MiG, uh, sorry, the, the B-29 into the TU-4 Bull, a complete copy of the B-29, down to like screws, manual, and English cockpit text. And if they did that to B-29, I see no problem that they can do that from uh, a missile. So, with, between their the Soviet's ability at this time to copy, uh, to copy, uh, copy stuff. I would definitely say that the latter version is actually the more plausible one. So, I'm just going to adjust my sight ring a little bit. And we're gonna stay here, we're gonna slow down a little bit. And I'm also going to trim out the aircraft. So, uh, the... I can only assume these, uh, the Skyhawks are going for a strike mission. I've lo already lost, uh, wait, there's the F5. Uh, shooter to Skyhawks and Tiger, I am acting as your top cover, right above you. Adjust my seating here. It's a little bit eerie to see how 
adjusting yourself in the computer chair is replicated in the cockpit of the of the plane, but uh, so these are the people we are watching over: an A4 with rockets and sidewinders. Uh, and a full with let's see what do you have you have a lots of you have a lots of bombs rockets and sidewinders I got the flaps oh wait that's the same one ain't it yeah there there's the other one you got fuel tanks and rockets and then we have the f5 there we also have a helicopter I think this is the helicopter I flew with yesterday at least it's the mi mi8 with similar yeah that's the same one So if we check the F-10 map, we ha we should all be heading toward this combat area. And it's a little bit of a relaxing... Wait a minute. Ah, uh, he, he's ju he just turned. I was wondering why he turned, but uh, looks like the tiger is turning as well. I don't really know why, but they are turning away. So let's put ourselves in a right-hand turn and not uh, and keep our eyes open. What is going on down there? I don't know why they simply just turn the other way, but uh, they might be doing a course change or anything. But as far as I can tell, there doesn't seem to be any MIGs down there. Now, when it comes to the F-86 in uh, DCS World, it is an absolute joy to fly. And I really mean that. It is, it is simple to fly, easy to operate, uh, you have all this visibility, uh, you have... Oh yeah, there they are! Tally 19. missiles. We're not going to approach full speed here. We are going to lower our... Got a 19 heading for me. This is gonna be a head-to-head. Where is it? He's turning away. Why is he turning away? And yes, some of you will complain over me using the F5 mode, but this is basically just me... ...me having fun, so... Besides, uh, there he is. Yeah, like I said, the missiles here are leaves leaves a bit to be desired. A good jink. He's got a missile off. He's got a missile off. I'm not at full gas. That might explain why I'm having engine problem keeping up with this guy. My missiles are gone. I really should have full gas in a dogfight, shouldn't I? Engage offensive, make one time low on the deck. Come on. I need to get this guy. The problem is that the MiGs are also kind of built in Stalinium, which is a joke, meaning that uh, Raspam hasn't really put that much effort into the multiplayer damage. Tally second MIG. Yeah, he's coming for me. I better just make an evasive here. Head for the deck and gain some more speed, because I need that speed right now. 
engage the defense of Winchester. Uh I see him. Ah. Missile, missile, missile. I think we lost the tiger. Yeah, and there's a third one. Shooter disengaging. I don't know if I actually. I don't think I made it, made it out of this one. But let's go low over the mountains and ho hope we at least get a maneuver kill out of this. And head back to where we know there might be some friendly air defenses. Yes. Shooter splash, one maneuver kill. Gonna have to make this low and then we go most likely have to go land to reload and repair our plane. Yes, I can see the hawks. I can see the hawks. Hawks are firing, good shit. Those hawks are going to make all the difference. Of course, I might need to get closer before this. They're actually going to be a. I want to keep tabs on these guys, but. I'm hit again. <sighs> they got my rudder. And my air brakes. And my flaps. Well, it was fun while it lasted. The Hawks are gonna get them, but... Uh, this plane is messed up beyond belief. At least I think so. I'm gonna see if I have any sort of maneuverability left. Shooter rejecting. Well, it was a nice dogfight while it lasted, but god damn it, those MiG 19s are tough. And there is actually a bit of a n nice, interesting reason behind that as well. The MiG 19 in real life was not the most successful fighter you can imagine. And when it comes to replicating these flaws in a simulator, this is usually not feasible. Especially when it comes to stuff that affects the pilot. And DCS AI is already notoriously bad at cheating. So basically they seem to ignore some things. And in this case it sadly manifests to make the MiG-19 be the fighter it would have been if it didn't have all these flaws. That said, I was uh, I'm not gonna make excuses for my uh, for the battle. Uh, I feel I could have done a lot of better, but it's still an interesting reflection regarding the MiG-19. And however, I must say that I really hope that uh, Rathbam really uh, just fixes the damage model, because I've done some testing, and the Sabre's guns can barely dent the thing. I mean, I needed like a like a five second burst to do the damage necessary. I've even knocked off a wing on one, and he just kept on flying. So hopefully Ratsban will be updating the multiplayer damage models on the MiG-19 soon, because otherwise this is going to turn from jolly good fun to just people frustration.